Buenos dias, fellow gamers. My name is Sid. How are you guys doing today? I do have another banger video for you, and this time it is about a Warframe that I haven't used in a while, but I decided to upgrade him, and now I'm in love with this character, Frost Prime. Ever seen three exclamation mark red crits? I haven't. Picture number one. This took place in the simulacrum. I didn't have OPS open, so I wasn't able to record it, but I was able to clip the last 30 seconds of metal. Um, as you can see, three exclamation marks and 1.5 million. I mean, we achieved more than that, but still crazy. Picture number two. As you can see, a lot, a ton of exclamation marks. Note, this is achievable if you have a critical chance buff from your smita. As you can see, on the top right corner, there's a smita buff that gives you critical chance. So if you have that, you're gonna get those three exclamation marks. And the cool thing is, it doesn't really matter if your weapon has critical chance or not. For example, I was using the Kuva Ogres, aka the Master of the High Ground, and I didn't really have any critical chance. But if you have a crit chance buff from your Kavat, and you have that one certain unique Frost mod, then you're gonna be able to achieve just that. Okie dokie, moving on to the main part of the video, the reason why you're here, the build for Frost Prime. But, just real quick, don't you think he looks like a droid seeker on the Star Wars planet Hoth? You know, especially with the Sandana, that is the Tenokon Sandana, by the way. I, I love that. It just looks so cool. It, it looks like you're patrolling an ice planet and you're looking for those droids, you know? <sighs> so cool. Either way, let's get started. I'll try to make this short and sweet as always. Okay, so we do have Archon Flow and we do have Streamline because we want to have that ability efficiency up and we also want to have uh, enough energy to always cast our Avalanche. I also decided to use Nourish um, not only for the damage increase, but also for the energy multiplier that we get. In general, I don't think Archon Flow slash Flow is really that necessary. It's just nice to have that 10% extra chance to get uh, energy orbs, you know, always combined super well with Nourish. For the strength, I used to have Orgo Reach, uh, but now I have Stretch and Cunning Drift, because I think 160% is enough, as we do have a 24 meter radius when it comes to freezing. That's very nice. When it comes to strength, transcend fortitude, growing power, and umbral intensify. You can go for another mod. It's called precision intensify. It specifically increases the power or the strength of the fourth ability by 90%. You can see it in this build. I'm going to show it soon. However, I decided to use umbral intensify because I want. I also want to buff the strength of nourish and of my other abilities. So um, yeah, that's that's the way to go for me. Okay, the main mod of this build, without a shadow of a doubt, I see Avalanche. Why? It gives you Overguard. And now you're asking yourself, okay, why is Overguard so important? First of all, it prevents you from being knocked down. So that means you don't need to use Prime Surefooted. Second of all, it prevents you from status effects. Three, another aspect people keep forgetting. You also give your Sentinel Overguard, okay? So that means your Sentinel is pretty much invulnerable. Plus, with this augment, you also give your squad mates Overguard. So it's kind of like Dante, just cooler, in my opinion. Rolling Guard is a personal preference. Let's just say you don't have energy, you don't have Overguard, you don't have anything, and you're about to die, you just roll, you're invulnerable for three seconds, you can go into your Operator or Drifter or whatever, um, you can chain sling them together, you know, save some time, uh, make sure you regenerate some energy in that time. And this is exactly why I love this mod. It saved my butt so many times, you have no idea. So for me, it's a must-have. I, I just love this mod. But then again, you can also replace it for whatever. You can go for more strength, you can go for more range, you can go for all your reach. You can you feel free for whatever, you know. I, I just like this one. Alrighty, for the Arcanes, Arcane Ice Storm. Change my mind, this Arcane is made for Frost. Okay, on enemy frozen, gain 2% ability strength and ability dura duration for 15 seconds. So the stacks up to 20. So as you can see, duration and strength is exactly what we need, since we have a low percentage of duration here. But it gets better. We have mold efficiency. While shields are active, we get more duration per second. This is the build number two. It's not really that different. I just have auger reach. I have overextended and precision and intensify. So as you can see, this is based more on range. However, we still have strength. And you must be wondering, why do I have so much strength? Easy, I'm gonna show you. The reason why I have so much strength anyway is because I have four Tower Forged Crimson Outcome Shards and uh, each one of them provides you with 15% ability strength. Plus, I also have the Tower Forged Ember Outcome Shard that provides you with additional casting speed because it just makes the gameplay more fluid and more fun to play. You know me, I'm a huge Smita main, but in times like this, we also need a Sentinel. So why exactly a Sentinel? Well, there's two reasons for that. 
But first, it doesn't really matter which Sentinel you use. I just like using the carrier as it provides you with additional ammo. The mods for the Sentinel don't really matter, as long as you have Tenacious Bond. This mod gives you a 1.2 final critical damage multiplier, but only if your critical chance of your companion is above 50%. Also, make sure you have Sacrifice, because if you get downed, they revive you, so that's always very nice. The reason why we have Tenacious Bond is because of our Sentinel weapon, the Volklock. Why the Volklock? It has the highest amount of critical chance. So, what exactly do you need this for? Well, you put it in Vigilante mods. Why? Vigilante mods increase the critical chance if you look at it. 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons. Let me show you something wild in Simulacrum versus Corrupted Heavy Gunners, level 200. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if you use Torrid. If you use Exeltra. Or one of my favorites, the God of Prime. Or even a very strong secondary weapon, which is the Atomus. You can see that they're easily being melted, and there's not much they can do.
gonna do it for this video if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you awesome people in the next one